Hello, my name is Oliver Zakin. I'm the restaurant manager for hospitality and catering over at East Sussex College uh, Eastbourne campus. And predominantly, my role is front of house based, so working in the restaurant with students and in the coffee shop bar area where we're serving drinks. Yeah, so catering and hospitality is an industry. Uh, obviously, it's an evolving industry. Stuff changes every week. Lots of new fashions and trends in the industry. Um, there's plenty of direction for you to go in as well. So you can specialise in different areas, patisserie and confectionery. Uh, you can work in really kind of small, fine dining establishments, some really cutting edge places. And um, but also there's a lot of front of house aspects. So mixology, working in bar areas. Um, baristas are really cutting edge trend at the moment. Everyone likes a good coffee in the morning. Um, and of course the front of house element. There's always a job in hospitality and catering for you. The restaurant's open throughout the term time to all of our guests and all the students prepare and serve the food. So the staff just stand behind the scenes and we guide, instruct, make sure that everything's being served to a fine dining standard. Level 1, Level 2, Level 3 hospitality and catering and obviously there's progression each time through. Uh, we always say that if you've achieved your threes and fours at school you generally enter at a level two qualification um, but we have the level one there as well and of course you can go straight to level three if you've got a little bit of prior experience where you score those top grades at school in your GCSEs or seven, eight, sevens, eights and nines. Level three we've got patisserie and confectionery as a specialist as well so you can do the professional cookery side of things and then if you want to specialise the following year you can do the patisserie and confectionery too. Across all levels, level one, two and three, there's generally uh, some units to complete. So we've got units for fish preparation, meat preparation, um, and then it all kind of breaks down to sauces, um, hot desserts, cold desserts, bread, patisserie. And across those three levels, you always gain more skills each year. So while you'll be learning the basics through level one and level two, in level three, you really start to enhance those skills. It's that progress from level one through to level three. You're building on each skill you've previously learned and really focusing on the finer elements of it. Across the week, there's about 10 to 12 hours of study. And a lot of that is for your own time as well. So you'll be going home with some homework. Uh, there's, established, there's facilities here for you to use. You can go and use the Learning Resource Centre. Um, you've got all of the books that are supplied, so you can do a lot of your work theory based at home. But in the kitchen in front of house, there's about 8 to 10 hours in the kitchen and on the floor, which you'll be doing practical hands-on tasks. Across the three levels, there's about 8 to 13 students in a group, in the kitchens and the practical environment. And we do sometimes break those down, so they'll be half in the kitchen while there's half working out the, th out the front. And you'll have the opportunity as well to do theory on a more collaborative approach. So all the level threes are going to one group together to do theory. You'll have some one-to-one -one from the lecturers and there's a lot of opportunity for you to get your own work done. So we do encourage you to go home and do some studying where you can for your homework. Assessments are all observations. So in practical terms, you'll be in the kitchen preparing things. And we'll break it down so we'll look at, for example, the way you're slicing things. Um, if you've got too much wastage, um, how things taste at the end and it's all through observation and feedback so we'll observe those things we'll be tasting we'll be kind of probing in to see if you can find out what you need to change and then we'll give you some feedback on what needs to be changed and it's all progression based so you'll do the practice and then you'll have an opportunity for it to be assessed and observed uh, a lot of the observations are through pictures so we do encourage the use of mobile phones for taking pictures of your stuff but only for pictures and lessons and nothing else the kitchens are proper professional industrial kitchens, so they're fitted exactly how you'd expect them to be in industry, so it's not your domestic kind of kitchen. We've got fully stainless steel work surfaces and tops. Our ovens are all industrial combination ovens and uh, hot top stoves. We've got a mixture of gas and electric to kind of familiarise yourselves with what you would expect in industry, and everything else is really cutting edge to make sure that you're getting the best experience you can, ready for that next step out into the real world. In the past, we've had some guest speakers come in, so we've had demonstrations from our local butcher, and they come in to do um, demonstrations on cutting a pig, for example, we had that a few years ago. We've had coffee experts come in to do coffee uh, enrichment with our students, and we also have some local firms such as HT White come in to do a wine tasting experience with our students to really understand what wines are paired best with other foods. Work experience is a big aspect of your role, so obviously the standard working week is 40 hours and we want to make sure that when you go out into industry that's not a shock to the system. So you do go out to do work experience and in some cases industry placement which is 350 hours of work experience alongside your qualification. Trips include trips to Borough Market in London, uh, hotels in Eastbourne, St Grand, The View, East Sussex National, 
And we've also been to the likes of Italy in the past and Holland for educational trips to see the food and different cuisines elsewhere. Uh, all of our chefs wear for PPE, so personal protection equi equipment, which includes their chef whites, their front of house uniform and their knives. And they're all industry standards, so they'll follow you throughout your career. There is an additional cost at the beginning of the year, but as they follow you when you go out into work, they will be beneficial for you to use for the rest of your life. When you leave college, you can go and work in hotels. There's opportunities in restaurant kitchens, both back of house and front of house. Because we teach a lot of hospitality, there's opportunities for you in bar and barista work as well, which is a really uh, growing trend across the country. As well as that, there's also fine dining opportunities. So you can work in restaurants, both back of house and front of house, providing a fine dining service along Michelin standard. Uh, upon entry to the college, threes and fours are good, but if you've got seven, eights and nines, we can look at entering you into a level three course. Otherwise, we would suggest entering at a level one or a level two. If you don't quite get the grade at school, we do have English and Maths teams here, so alongside your qualification, you'll be enrolled into English and Maths as well. We've also had a student last year that was on the Master Chef of Professionals, who works in a local restaurant in Horsham, and he got through to the semi-finals. My name is Ren, I came from Haosham Community College and I'm currently studying professional cookery. I've just always had a passion for cooking and baking and I came to college so I could get a degree in it and hopefully turn it into a career in the future. Oh, this course is amazing. The uh, tutors and teachers are all amazing people. They're really kind and if you make mistakes in the course, they run you through what you've done wrong and help you improve it. Hi, I'm Dan. I used to go to Heathrow Community College. It's my first year at Eastbourne and I'm studying professional cookery. When I'm not studying on campus, I have a job at a pub in Heathfield called the Heathfield Tavern. Uh, when I'm there, I'm a sous chef and we make gastro food. I've been there for a year. This course is really good, it provides me with lots of experience, new techniques, helps me learn how the industry works. Upon completion of the course, students go on to do a wide variety of things in industry and in the last couple of years we've had students that are now working in really nice local places like Rathfinney Wine Centre and we had a student made an appearance on MasterChef for Professionals recently. The restaurant is open uh, during term time to the public every day apart from Tuesday for lunches and we also do themed events in the evenings, afternoon teas and Christmas functions and that gives our students a real opportunity to understand and learn in an environment that's safe to how we provide a service, how we prepare the food and how it's served. There's always a market for food and drink um, across the country and internationally as well. So getting into hospitality and catering now is a really good idea. Everyone always likes to go out for a nice meal, so it's a good opportunity to start somewhere. If you're interested in enrolling on a hospitality and catering course, head over to the website for further information on our courses specifically. And if you have any questions, you can contact our team. He'll be happy to help. You.